योग चित्त वृत्ति निरोध योग इज रिस्ट्रेनिंग द माइंड स्टफ फ्रॉम टेकिंग वेरियस फॉर्म हेलो फ्रेंड टुडे फोर्थ जुलाई इज द डेथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ स्वामी विवेकानंद एंड ऑन दिस डे लेट्स हैव रिव्यू ऑन वन ऑफ हिस्स फेमस बुक राज योग कॉन्क्यूरिंग द इंटरनल नेचर द राज योग इज टेकन फ्रॉम पतंजलि योगा अफोरिजम द बुक इज बेस्ड ऑन फोर पार्ट ऑफ योगा दैट इज भक्ति योग कर्म योग राज योग एंड ज्ञान योग we will see review of this book in two parts in the first part of this video we will see views of swami vivekananda on religion its existence and birth and the one by one steps to attain uh, that perfection and in the next video we will practice this methods as we all know the orthodox systems in indian philosophy have one goal in view that is the liberation of soul through perfection and so in this book we are going to learn methods and practices of meditation and pranayam to know our internal us and to pursue knowledge which can give us eternal happiness so basically raj yoga is science which teaches us how to gain the power of concentration to conquer our internal nature now let's come to the introduction part swami vivekananda says that knowledge is based upon experience basically we easily believe in anything when someone gives us result based on experiments and reasoning which satiates us that means until and unless we will not work on ourselves we will not practice it by our own we will fail to experience it and thus it will be difficult for us to believe on yoga so it is necessary to practice it regularly and patiently now question arises does religion has such basis or not Answering this, Swami Vivekananda says that what religion taught all over the world is said to be based on faith and belief, and in the most cases, only on different sets of theories. That is the reason we find all religions quarrelling with one another, thinking their religion is superior. Swami Ji has given here example of Christ, Buddha, and Rishis that how they experienced certain truths, saw them, and came in contact with them. now i am sure that it is clear to all of us that all religions of the world have been built upon that one universal and adamant foundation of all our knowledge that is direct experience in modern times a peculiar claim is made that these experiences are impossible at the present day that were only possible with a few men who were the first founders of the religion but swami vivekananda completely denies this he believes that if there has been one experience in this world in the particular branch of knowledge it absolutely follows that the experience has been possible millions of times before and will be repeated eternally uniformity is the rigorous law of nature what once happened can happen always today following religion is just become a trend there has been more bloodshed in the world in the name of god than any other reason people just wanted to give a mental assent to the customs of their forefathers and wanted others to do the same what right does anyone have to say that they have soul if they doesn't feel it they believe in god but haven't seen it if there is god then we must see it and if soul then perceive it otherwise it is better to be a atheist than a hypocrite one a very practical example what we hear from our teachers is same given here that if you want to become an astronomer and you sit down and cry astronomy astronomy it will never come to you a certain method must be followed you have to go to the observatory take a telescope and study stars and planets then you will become an astronomer each science have its own method so the raj yoga is science that proposes a practical and scientifically worked out method of reaching the truth and to experience mental peace analyze mind and illumine facts for us and this can be attained by the power of attention when guided and directed towards the internal world why most of us don't know about this is because from childhood upwards we have been taught only to pay attention to on external things hence most of us has lost the faculty of observing the internal mechanism to turn the mind as it were inside stop it from going outside and then concentrate all its power and throw them upon the mind itself in order that it may know its own nature and to analyze itself is very hard work the end name of all science is to find the unity the one out of which the manifold is being manufactured 
that one existing as many. Raj Yoga proposes to start from the internal world to study the internal nature and through that control the whole, both external and internal. Now let's come to the next part of the book, the eight steps of Raj Yoga to become an yogi. So the eight steps are Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyahar, Dharna, Dhyan and the last one is Samadhi. So a yogi needs to practice one by one this procedure to achieve perfection. The very first is Yam. Yam means non-killing, truthfulness, non-stealing, continence and non-receiving of any gifts. Means you have to live a simple, truthful life. The second one is Niyam. Niyam means simply rules and regulations. Under the Niyam, you have to follow cleanliness, contentment, austerity, study and self-surrender to the God. The first two steps that is Yam and Niyam are the moral trainings and are the basis without which yoga can be practiced. The next one is Asana. Asana means the posture. A series of exercises, physical and mental is to be practiced every day. For performing long duration meditation, a posture should be found which is the easiest to remain. The next one is Pranayam. Pranayam means the control of Pran. So the to understand Pranayam is the most difficult part to understand here. In simple words, Pranayam is the control of Pran and Pran is the force which controls our involuntary organs. The next one is Pratyahara. Pratyahara means restraining of the senses from their objects, which means you have to control your Indriyas, that means senses. The next one is Dharna. Dharna means to fix the mind on a one spot. Means you have to believe in that one thing and you have to fix your mind there only. The next one is Dhan. Dhan simply means meditation. And the last one is Samadhi, which means superconscious state. So these were all the eight steps which one needs to follow to attain the perfection and to know the internal nature of ourselves. In the next video, we will see the one by one methods and practice it what is given in these eight steps. Thank you very much.